Helen Yee here being joined by the new manager of the 51s, Tony DeFrancisco. Now, um, being here in Las Vegas and your new positions, first off, congratulations. How does it feel to be in this ever-growing sports town? Oh, I love it, yeah. You know, looking back at uh, the years that I've been here, you know, they're going to have a brand new baseball stadium here next year, the 51s, and uh, the football team's coming, Oakland, the hockey team. I think it's a great sports town. Uh, uh, all the years coming to Vegas, it's always been fun, always something to do all the time. And now to be here for, you know, the whole summer is going to be something different for me. And now being from New York, and obviously um, this is a AAA team for the Mets, how much of that was kind of uh, an influence of you wanting to come here? No, no doubt. They, you know, it was about having relationships with some of the people in the front office there, Sandy Alderson and JP, that I knew back when I worked with Oakland. But uh you know, when you're a New Yorker, you want to always try to get back to uh, your roots. And uh, I think it was a great opportunity when, you know, I wasn't coming back with the Houston Astros. But uh, you know, like I said, my family's there, my mom's there, my sister's there. And hopefully uh, I'll spend some time down at City Field here in the next few years and they can come out and watch me. And how much of your experience, you know, being from um, the Houston Astros AAA uh, League, you've been with them for about seven seasons. How much of that experience do you hope to bring here and kind of um, help motivate, you know, the players on the team? Well, that's, that's, that's part of my job is to keep the guys motivated and develop them into winning players. And, uh, you know, we did a great job in Houston. Uh, when I first got there, we, we struggled. Uh, Jeff Lou now came in as a GM. I uh, got rid of uh, <clears throat> all the salary. He got rid of uh, a lot of the top players. He traded for some great players. We got first-round picks. They did a great job in scouting and development. And overall, <clears throat> we developed a lot of great players uh, from Springer to Keiko, Carlos Correa, Altuve, uh, Bregman. And to watch these guys uh, come together and win a championship, uh, you know, as, as a coach, that's some, some rewards that we have uh, down the road. But uh, Hopefully we can bring a winning tradition here. And in 15, I know we were in the playoffs against the Royals, and uh, I was there. Uh, we had the lead late in, late in the game. We wind up be getting beat, and the Royals wind up beating the Mets in the World Series. So, you know, the Mets weren't too far away years ago, and uh, hopefully, you know, if their pitching can do what it needs to do and uh, some of these additions they got with Jay Bruce and Ray is coming back, uh, they can go out and compete and hopefully win a division. And what do you think about the team so far and some of the players? And, I mean, a lot of good ones that are hoping to, you know, get called up to the Mets. What do you think of them so far? Well, it's hard. You know, from the other side, they definitely had some talent. Ploiecki, the catcher, and uh, Dominic Smith, the first baseman, uh, Rosario, the shortstop, uh, Nemo, uh, Sanchini, all guys that I watched for years uh, get an opportunity to play with the Mets. And what we need to do a better job, hopefully, is these guys get an opportunity again this year, is that when they do go up, that they can impact the game and, uh, you know, put their name uh, on the field. Uh, you know, they're just not their part-time player. They need to definitely, you know, do some damage and, and execute the way uh, a major league player needs to execute. And is that your goal this year, to really uh, help develop them? I think I've been pretty good at it over the years. Uh, we had a lot of success. We won some championships, and uh, you know, it seems like the players somehow, uh, you know, they all come together in that locker room and they decide they're going to go after it and uh, and compete every night. And you know, I think uh, over the years I had one losing season in the last you know 25 years, so uh, it's kind of fun and rewarding, and, and keeps you know everybody motivated at some point. And you know, last year I know they struggled here and. Uh, but that's baseball. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. There's no chemistry in the locker room. Too many changes. Guys coming and going. But at AAA, you know, you got to deal with that. I've been doing it for a while, and you know, whoever's that, those nine guys on the field at that time, you, you hopefully they go out and compete. And speaking of your successes, uh, like I just mentioned, coming from the AAA affiliate from the Houston Astros, and then winning the World Series, what was your initial reaction? Yeah, that's that's the ultimate. You know, I've been. 35 years in baseball, I got some championships in the minor leagues as a coach or you know, as a player, but uh, the ultimate is to get in the World Series ring. And you talk about players that, uh, you know, we don't do it for the money, we do it for, you know, the rings. And, you know, Tom Brady, watching him on his Facebook, uh, you know, show, he went right into his safe, he talk, took out, you know, his four or five rings. And, you know, he says, if you're going to beat me, you better be the best. And that's how kind of I go about my business. You want to beat me? You better prepare as hard as I prepare. Yeah, and safe to say, are are you, you're a Tom Brady fan? Absolutely, yeah. He's got, he's going for his sixth championship. I'm going for my fi my fifth, so I'm trying to keep up with him. 
Yes. Yeah, and maybe surpass him unless he plays so 45. Well, right? He's going to run out of time soon, but I'm going to keep going. Yeah. And lastly, um, for you, uh, you mentioned the new baseball at the ballpark in downtown Summerlin. Now, with all the teams kind of coming to Las Vegas and all the major leagues, do you think that major league baseball would ever come here? No, absolutely. I think once they get this new stadium and you watch the success of the Raiders and the hockey team and uh, you know, UNLV has great basketball over the years, and you know, it's for me definitely a four-city uh, sports team, and hopefully they can see what they do with the 51s. And uh, even though it's very transient, you know, a lot of people come and go in the city, but if you get a good sports base, uh, you never know what can happen. But definitely uh, uh, an incredible city just to be around, just watching the growth over the last 15 years for me coming in and out, pretty amazing. And what do you think about the Golden Knights' success so far? Yeah, you know, I, I lived in Phoenix for a while, so the Coyotes were brand new a few years ago, and your team's doing very well. They did a great job with the expansion and getting some good players, and uh, they're competing. Hopefully, we'll watch them down the end there. Who knows? Right, Stanley Cup, maybe? Yeah, that'd be nice for the city, yeah. yeah.